Excel is great for managing tables of numbers, but adding a chart can make your data much easier to interpret. For example, here's some data about Contoso's online sales for 2014. The table shows sales amounts for several different countries and product categories, but it's hard to read in table form, so I'll create a chart based on the table. First, I select the data, and the Quick Analysis icon appears down here. I click the icon, and a gallery appears with several different options to choose from. I want to create a chart, so I'll choose that option. Here, I can see several recommended charts for my data. As I hover over each one, I see a preview of what that chart would look like. For example, here are several different types of bar chart. I like that first chart the best, so I'll use that. And now I can see at a glance that our top selling product for 2014 was bikes, and most of the sales were in Australia and the United States. I can give the chart a name by selecting it and typing a new name. I can also move the chart so it's next to my data. The Quick Analysis feature helped me create that chart quickly, but let's see another way to do it. Here's some survey data about which colors customers preferred for some of the products our company offers. To chart this data, I select it. And then on the Insert tab, I click Recommended Charts. This brings up a dialog box that lists some recommended charts and shows a preview of each. I think I want this one, but I want to see some of the other options. I click All Charts, and Excel suggests a couple of options. I can hover over each one to get a closer view. The colors are nice on this one, but I don't think it's as understandable as the other one. So I'll keep the recommended chart that's already selected. I click OK, and Excel creates the chart. Up in the ribbon, the Design tab appears, where I can make changes to my chart. For example, I can use the Add Chart Element button to add data labels to the chart. And I'll give the chart a more meaningful name. Once you've created a chart, you might decide you don't need to see the table of data itself. In that case, you can just move the chart so it covers the table. Learn more at support.office.com.